And I was like, no, dude, it's cool. My favorite wrestler of all time. Ellen time right here. Special guest ring announcer for this next match. Big moment. WWE Hall of Famer, Howard Fink. Oh, the Fink. Oh, baby, the Fink is back. I hope he doesn't cry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fink was good, wasn't he? Yep. What the is best. this match? We got some Heath Slater coming out right here. Hey, no offense to Heath Slater. Uh, no offense, but unless he's working like uh, Carl Gotch, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Heath. Uh, oh, dog choosing to bypass. I think we even have well, some fan I, questions yeah, what, about what, how good Heath Slater <laughs> is and how we should be watching more Heath Slater. Well, I, I, I look, I don't, uh, I don't. Uh, disagree with them but this is just another uh thing like where everybody oh, let's came let's out. go back and see some legends though okay okay he just wasn't me to come so out here the acolyte <laughs> protection agency <laughs> i think now slater has finally wised up he's getting out of here well do you blame him no as tough as they come two of the most physical guys i've ever seen they knocked out two men in one match one night but he best move you've made in a long time yeah you are <laughs> And now we got all the legends that have faced Heath Slater in recent weeks. Vader, <laughs> oh God. Sid, Doink, Sergeant Slaughter. It was There's Cole Sally in. saying it. Rikishi, Diamond Dallas Page. And it's no disqualification and no count out. And Doink the Clown. Oh. Look at Lita. Get a twist of fate from Lita. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Stood him right on his head. The decapitator. Never delivered. The one man band is out of business. Lead but assault. I don't think Lita's done yet. Oh, look at that assault self from Lita. Cover. Can I say it? Yes. Vintage Lita. Vintage, Vintage Lita. Vintage legends. Close line from that. Look at <laughs> Sid is just a hyper back one. You got any good Fink stories? You're just going to hear Ron go, damn. Uh, no, Fink was a great guy, man. My Fink stories all come from uh, when I started working at the office. Fink was worked on, in the office as well. Came down to my office every day uh, to see me and say good morning. And uh, Fink was just a great guy. Speaking of milk. Dog, we've been grilling you for your opinions on this episode of Raw 1000. Yep. But I know you've been grilling on your Rectech wood pellet grill, am I right? It's time for me to tell you about Rectech. <laughs> I don't know. Insert. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happens there. But are we still on? 
we still on? I'd love to say something we'll nasty move. about Lita's. Uh, never mind. Johnny Seven wants to know who do you think had more potential, Damian Sandow or Heath Slater? And his comment is, I personally thought they both had more upside than The Miz at the time. And did you have any backstage encounters with Psycho Sid? Hashtag VKM for life. <laughs> um, no, I mean, not Psycho Sid here. I, I had to run in with Psycho Sid when I was young uh, and I was the roadie, but um, nothing ever came of it. Um, but yeah, so so what were we talking about before Psycho Sid? What was the question? The the question is uh, who had more potential, oh, Sandow oh, yeah, or yeah. Slater? So, so look, I, I'm going to say he's Slater, and the only reason I say that is because I think his work was a little better uh, than Sandow's. I think they're both extremely talented individuals whom uh, I am friends with both, for sure. Look, uh, I was writing SmackDown with Heath Slater and Rhino won the tag titles. So I'm a huge Heath Slater advocate. Uh, but look, I also know that Mizdow was some of the best stuff I had seen. You know what I mean? Uh, I, and I'd watched in a while, and that was kind of all him. So I don't know. I'm not going to pick one or the other. I'd love to have them both on my roster. 